which type of ossifying fibroma belongs to odontogenic origin. So basically there has to be an ossifying fibroma and that has to be of dental origin that is uh, derived either from the parts of the dental right odontogenic part right. So yes uh, the options are semometoid, trabecular, cemento ossifying fibroma both A and B. So uh, I'll be just coming to the cemento ossifying fibroma which is a distinct form of a benign fibro osseous tumor okay. So fibro osseous tumor that means there will be fibers as well as bony component in this particular tumor and what happens the osseous part keeps changing from the fibrous part in this particular kind of tumor right. Now uh, this is uh, primarily or the predominant affecting area is your craniofacial region, the craniofacial region and over the period of time the WHO has given a lot of classifications. So I will be just showing you uh, that. So if you just see the 2017 edition of the WHO classification of odontogenic tumors then you would be able to see the cemento ossifying fibroma which is uh, similar to the ossifying fibroma and this ossifying fibroma is generally derived from PDL so periodontal ligament which is a part of the periodontium here and that is considered as odontogenic uh, in nature. So yes cemento ossifying fibroma also known as the ossifying fibroma according to the newer classifications is going to be odontogenic in nature. So ossifying fibroma that belongs to the odontogenic origin is going to be your cemento ossifying fibroma also written as the COF in general. So you can find it in the form of short form there in your exam also. Now their resemblance to the ossifying fibroma okay so uh, makes it very difficult to differentiate between these and your classification have given that yes these can be similar and considered as similar. So they are derived from the mesenchymal blast cells mesenchymal blast cells of periodontal ligament that is important and they have a potential to form fibrous tissues. So these are going to form the fibrous tissues and inside the bone this will be changing the bony tissue into the fibrous tissue in most of the cases yes they can also form the cementum and they can also form the bone or combination of all such combination of all these tissues as well. So if you histologically see you can see uh, yes there can be bone formation, there can be cementum formation, there can be a lot of fiber. But if you see radiographically, so if we discuss about the radiographic features of this uh, cemento ossifying fibroma, so you will be seeing the multilocular appearance, multilocular appearance and then you can also see some radio opacities. There can be some uh, radio lucencies, for example, then, then only it will be giving you the multilocular appearance here. And uh, that is due to the fibers that is formed, but radio opacity can be due to the cementum or the bone like tissue that is formed from there. So, if I just show you the radiograph that will help you to understand this. So, this radiograph, if you see here, you will be able to see this particular area, you will be able to see that this area is opaque and that can be either bone, here it looks like bone because if it would be more dense then we could have said that it is cementum and then you will be able to see the localization. So these are the rhodio opaque linings here and that will be forming the locules. So that is going to be the multilocular region there will be multilocular lesion that will be seen here. So that is the radiographic finding of your ossifying fibroma here. So coming back to the question, yes, cemento ossifying fibroma also referred as the ossifying fibroma according to newer WHO classification is going to be of odontogenic origin. So answer is 3 in this particular case.